With over 3 million inhabitants living and working in Kampala today, engineers believe that many city dwellers are not connected to the city's sewage system. This they believe is because the city has been growing ahead of the key infrastructure developments, including the sewage system. In an attempt to improve the situation, but the gap between supply and demand is so huge that even the attempts of national water will take many years to catch up and get ahead where we have the development coming behind the infrastructure and not the infrastructure chasing the development as it is now. The problem, according to experts, is now affecting land usage planning, setting the city on the path to more bigger challenges ahead. The fact that you have all these septic tanks and pit latrines scattered you know, in 90% of the, of, the, of the homes and offices and factories in Kampala, it means you have a lot of land which is deployed to local, localized on-site sewage treatment. Yet, if you had a pipe network, you could free up that land uh, for other uses uh, through a centralized pipe network. The National Water and Sewage Corporation admits that there are constraints facing sewage infrastructure development and has already started work on a 3.5 billion treatment plant that will help ease the flow of waste in the four drainage areas around Kampala City to meet the demand, especially in times of heavy rains and floods. We are building the largest sewage treatment plant in Eastern Central Africa. It will be able to serve 380,000 people every day and treat at least 45 million litres of water every day. That's wastewater. So right now we are building a high capacity sewerage pipeline which, is going, which goes from Bugorobi. It goes to, if you go behind the Electoral Commission, you see it passing there. It's also going to collect sewage from Nsambia Police Station and then it goes to Kiseka Market, parts of Makeze Chipuru and also parts of, uh, parts of uh, Agakan Primary School. Now when you go to the side of Untinda which was not served by piped sewerage systems. We are also doing another line from Untinda, Chambogo. We are building a sewage pretreatment plant in Chinawataka. The problem has now come to fore as the country puts up with an unusually long and heavy El Nino rains, which are adding pressure to an already challenged system with fears now of outbreaks of hygiene related diseases. Marco Misime, NTV Business.